Hennessy Sports brings you tonight's main event, 12 rounds of action for the Commonwealth Heavyweight Championship. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wears Black Trunks, his official weight, 16 stone eight, 232 US pounds, with a professional record consisting of 16 victories, five coming by way of knockout, and no defeats in 16 bouts. Introducing from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, he is the current undefeated heavyweight champion of Canada, Nevin No Surrender. Across the ring, his opponent fights out of the red corner, wears right trunks with the black trim, white with black. His official weight, 18 stone, five pounds, 257 US pounds. His professional record stands at 16 victories, 11 coming by way of knockout, no defeats in 16 bouts, introducing from Manchester United Kingdom, the current undefeated, British and Commonwealth Heavy Champion, Tyson Fury! Great ovation for Fury, as there is, it seems, wherever he goes. And the question now is whether he can take care of Nevin Pikic Gentlemen, you've had and your keep instructions moving forward. You know what I expect of you both. When I tell you to break, break cleanly and take a step back. Watch your heads in close. Touch gloves. Good luck. Touch gloves. Needed a second instruction there to touch gloves. There is bad blood between the two. No question about that. But Dave McCauley, Tyson Fury can't allow that to get in his way. No, because the worst mistake you can make in a ring is get mad because see when you get mad you make too many mistakes you, you waste too much energy so you, you have to be cool calm and collective the way he normally is he was rocked briefly against Nikolai Fierta in trouble early against Derek Chisora can he negotiate this calmly Tyson Fury he always seems to make the heart flutter Huge height and weight and reach advantage against the man born in Sarajevo, but now based in Canada, Nevin Pajkic. But can Fury make them all count? Likes to get behind that jab, but Pajkic likes to come out and swing. It's all very ragged. Fury suggested before and he put his head down and just came out swinging and that's what he's done so far Pajic yep he, he's a brawler this guy so what Tyson Fury has to do uh, this is simple keep it at long range he's six foot nine with great big long arms Pajic six foot three shortish arms so a violence Tyson Fury this man wouldn't get near me so keep him away keep putting that big left jab out and then bang that right hand left hook across because in theory, Pajic shouldn't really get near uh, Tyson Fury because Fury can box, he can punch, he has it all. So therefore, I know this is, only, this is only the first round, but he wants to stop his authority right away. Let this guy know who the boss is. Yeah, he can box effectively, very effectively behind that left jab, and that's what he's trying to do. But again, Pajic comes moving forward, ungainly, untidy, but just flustering Tyson Fury at the moment. Not the most attractive start to the big fight of the night, but that's better for Fury, good footwork there, to move himself to the centre of the ring. See, I'm only just guessing here, but I would say that the uh, pie checks, uh, what they, what they want to do is, they want to get in, inside, they want to try to make sure that Tyson Fury can't get off, you know, with the big arm, the big rights, the big left, so they want to just maul him and brawl him over, over the top of him and stay in close and try and spoil things for Tyson Fury, which he is doing right now, because Fury's letting him get too close. Yeah, flurry of punches there. 
None of them accurate from Nevin Pajkic, but you see the look on Tyson Fury's face, a mixture of anger and bemusement. Having said he was expecting this, he doesn't look like he was expecting this. That's better. In behind the jab, encouragement at the end of a very, very scrappy opening round here. I haven't seen any feints. I want to see the feints, and I want you to touch the body, okay? And don't back straight up. Turn, turn, okay? How you feel? Okay. Utilize my jab a little better. Feign it, pop it to the body, pop it to the head, double it, triple it. Give me something with that jab. We want to keep him in the water so we can drown this mother, all right? Okay, he's already getting desperate. You see that, right? All you got to do is step back in time right here. Right? Take a deep breath, deep breath, relax. Keep using my jab. Keep using my jab. Tyson Fury's new trainer, Chris Johnson, passing on some instructions there. Just wanted me to work from the big man. Scrappy opening round, but Fury will hope for more order to his work in this second. This guy. Will not be easy to get out of there, Nevin Pajkic. It's a different challenge for Tyson Fury. Barely been able to land a clean shot so far, Fury. But we know all about the power he has in those hands. Pajkic with a right hand in response to that. Left jab from Tyson Fury again. Pajkic looking for the big shot, but Fury catching him as he came in, and the crowd here in Manchester rises. Now they're starting to exchange. Now Fury opening up, and now he play acts again as he loves to do. Pajkic with a swinging right hand there. Wasn't far away that shot. Might be head down and a little blind, but Fury had better be careful here. Yep, and Fury lets him go. They land on target, so he has to throw his punches in twos and threes. The big, the big left jab works, works his way in, and then bang, let the big right go, and the big left go. But let him go in twos and threes. That was a dangerous right hand from Tychek, but Fury took it well. A couple of good left hands there from Fury as well. A little warning from the referee about punching around the back of the head. Pajkic has only knocked out five of his opponents. Fury. High contrast, 11. Fury, the man, certainly with more power. Now that jab. Jab was so sharp against Nikolai Fiesta. Looked a real weapon, but it hasn't done so so far tonight. Oh, Fury is down! What he did was he dropped his, his left hand and overcame an overhand right and it landed bang on his chin. Fury has to tighten the gut. What he has to do is he has to take this fight to Pajcek. He's letting Pajcek dictate the terms here. So Fury wants to come forward, but keep the hands up and let the punches flow. Because if he hits Pajcek with that big right hand, he will not him out. Is this the night that... Tyson Fury's bubble burst, it's never dull this right. Big, big round for Nevin Pajkic here. Fury regrouping and caught again by a right hand there. Holding on now, Fury, at the end of a dramatic round. What drama, Dave McCauley, what drama here. Tyson Fury has to be worried of this big overhand right. Here it comes now, what it says, bang, came from the back of the hall, Fury's left hand was down and that's why he was caught. He's getting a bit careless. It was a cracking punch, bang, there it goes, oh, look. 16 stone, bang, hit him fair on the chin. Any wonder he went down, it was a cracking punch and he was caught again. 
by that, that overhand right, so he's going to have to be very, very, very careful because Pajcic is pretty powerful. And Pajcic getting a, a warning for use of the head as well. That was something approaching a butt there from Pajcic, who is a brawler. But everyone came here tonight to see Tyson Fury move on on the road towards the Klitschko's. It might be a very different story here. Nevin Pajkic certainly ahead in the fight, of course he is. Fury down in the second and Fury seemingly in trouble. Can he find an answer as he has done before? Here comes Pajkic again catching Fury. The big man backed up, the local favourite in trouble. Pajkic with a shot to the body and then a right hook to the head. Has Fury weathered this storm yet? You see, nearly every time Pajkic throws that overhand right, he catches Fury because he's dropping his left hand too low. And he's moving into to, to, to Pajkic's uh, right, right, right hand. So what Fury had to do is move to his own right to try and avoid Pajkic's overhand right. But he's doing everything right now to sit Pajkic, or Pajkic. Better right hand that time from Fury, the first time he appears to have hurt Pajkic. It might not be pretty, but it is on a knife edge, this. Both men are throwing everything at each other. Today. Yeah, he needs to keep going in here and he needs to keep dictating the terms here. When he gets that jab going and then he unleashes that big right hand, he has great success. Right hand again and Pajkic is rocking again. Fury has Pajkic in trouble. He's down in front of us. Back on his feet, but it will be a count. Still 50 seconds to go in the round here. Fury was down in round two. Back on his feet and maybe on the brink of a win here. So guys, this was both Tyson Fury's and Nevin Pajkic's 17th fight. So they were at the same stage in their careers when going into this fight for the heavyweight Commonwealth title. However so, their physical attributes are where they differ a lot. So Fury was 6'9", 18 stone and 5 pounds, while Pajkic was 6'3", 16 stone and five pounds. Fury was a lot younger, I believe, perhaps um, 10 to 11 years younger. Now, guys, over the years, the British fighter Tyson Fury has improved, but in this fight against the Canadian Pykic, we are staunchly reminded of his humble beginnings. You saw the knockdown, you saw the pressure that um, Pykic was able to muster. Um, so in most cases, Unless you are Nikolai Valuev, you are going to be the shorter boxer when fighting Tyson Fury. Now, Tyson's height advantage is such a big factor that you must certainly assign some time during training to developing a height negating game plan if you wish to be successful against him. So for instance, not allowing him to establish his jab by constantly distorting the range. So keeping your head a moving target through the use of micro movements, cycling through blocking and evasion so that Tyson doesn't really know when 
he will come into contact with his jab. Also changing your height so that you force Tyson to change his line of sight from directly forward to downwards. And this will allow you to target his torso and set up overhand right hand shots. Now for me, all of these things have to be put into place systematically before you can actually start to think about your attack because Fury can always hit you before you can hit him. Now, if I'm to be honest, I don't think heavyweights such as, say, Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker, or Deontay Wilder have the skills or tactical playbooks to beat him. Now, if I'm to think about the fantasy matchup between, say, Mike Tyson and Tyson Fury, I think I am Mike Tyson's style is almost tailor-made to take on someone like Fury. He changes his height a lot, moves his head, and creates angles at an aggressive pace. Also, Fury's next bout will be against Alexander Usyk. This is another opponent that I believe has the tenacity and overall ring IQ to usurp the Gypsy King. Fury definitely knows how to box, but I think Alexander Usyk has superior skills, or at least makes good use of them in abundance when he fights. So I suspect we may be looking at a Usyk win come May 18th. As always, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Remember to leave a comment within the comment section if you want to add anything about Tyson Fury. So until my next one, peace out.